Damn, I ain't see me million a week Five shows made three million a week You are now looking at the bestie elite Too bad you can't go and invest in fatigues I'm damn, I ain't see me million a week Five shows Yeah, my niggas sold me. I gotta be single for a while. He can't control me. Who no dope traits in a race? They can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery. It's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me If I ever heard one and I'm still here Outside, front line, south side I've been losing friends and finding peace Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me Look, don't invite me over here to throw another pretty party Hey guys, it's Mella, welcome, welcome back to my channel If this is your first time seeing me, hi, my name's Carmella I make lifestyle vlog here and other entertaining videos So yeah, if you're interested in that, keep on watching and also subscribe to be part of my journey. Okay, so it's gonna be like a little vlog. I don't know if it's gonna be a day vlog or a week vlog or just like random days in my life. I don't know yet, but I'm just recording today and it's Tuesday. You guys saw me waking up, going to the gym, da da da, getting ready. But um, right now it's 12 o'clock and I just finished getting ready. I already ate breakfast. I don't think I recorded me eating breakfast or whatever, but I got the egg white grill from chick and i had that so yeah oh my hair came out good today thank god i was really like concerned because do you see these like stringy parts of my hair like my hair still like i feel like i damaged it a little bit and now it's like getting back to like how it used to be so the plan for today is i have um I have to tour like a bunch of apartments starting at one. Um, I'm moving out. We're moving out, I guess, me, Mary, and Ruth. We're leaving this house. We've been here for like, what, two years? Yeah. We've been here for two years, but we're leaving for the last year. It's June 21st, and we don't have a house yet. Rent is like literally insane right now. Clearly, you guys know, but like every house or every apartment we try to rent, it's like 800 minimum girl nobody's paying that but yeah i found a couple apartments to look at that are like you know reasonable in pricing so i'm gonna go ahead and check them out my roommates aren't here um uh, miriam de nova and ruth is like in morocco or whatever so i'm gonna be the only one touring the apartments i'm probably gonna call miriam on the phone and then like you know we're gonna like tour it together but yeah i have it at one um i just finished getting ready so i'm just gonna like, you know chill a little bit until I get out. Okay, so does it fit? Top from Shein. Um, and then pants, I thrifted them. I don't remember where it's from. Okay, guys, I'm obsessed with this TikTok. I don't think you can see. Yeah, I can see my face. Okay, I'm obsessed with this TikTok, and we're about to do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> favorite perfume sadly so she will do i like this too but this is like very grown do you know what i mean like you gotta like i don't know there has to be an occasion for me to have this um hey guys i'm back from the tour um it went nice um there's like one apartment one of the apartments that i saw i really liked 
and we were considering it but um so it's me Ruth and Miriam and so we're looking for like three bedroom two bath type of apartment and the apartment the smallest room is too small like it's just insanely small like if you if one of us end up with that room like i'm gonna be sick for the rest of the year the year type you know what i mean so it's really small so we're kind of like trying to figure what we're gonna do because the biggest room has like a bathroom by itself and a walk-in closet and the middle one is like you know it has a big closet and it's like average size room but the smallest room is really small and it doesn't even have a, um, a walk-in closet so we're trying to figure out like you know how we're gonna go about it also in that same apartment there's this other unit where like it looks like all three of the rooms are like relatively like fair you know what i mean like even like the biggest room doesn't look like a mansion and the smallest room doesn't look like a closet like it's kind of like fair so um i emailed the guy and he told me that that room is available and he told me that oh my god speaking of let me email him back i'm gonna prep y'all right here i know this is horrible angle but let me just email him right now and i'll talk to you guys hold on Yes, Thursday's fine. Um, I'm available anytime before three. Okay. But yeah, so I'm trying to tour the apartment Thursday. Also, I didn't, um, I forgot to record when I was like in the apartment. Not for y'all, but like for my roommates. I forgot to record when I was in the apartment. So Ruth is in Morocco right now, so she didn't get to see it. So yeah, that was also like, you know, a little intent con i guess because we can't really make a decision without all three of us like actually seeing it and making sure that like you know we want to live there for a whole year but yeah what else it's like 2 33 i'm a little hungry because the last time i ate was like at like 10 and i ran out of groceries because i did only grocery shopping for like a week and a half i don't want to do grocery shopping now or tomorrow to be honest so I'm just gonna go out and get something to eat. I just feel really tired because the apartment guy, um, he showed me like one apartment in this, I mean, one unit in this apartment and then we had to walk all the way like for like 10 minutes or 10, 15 minutes to see two other apart apartments. And then when we were done, I had to walk back because I parked my car at the first apartment. So I did a lot of walking and I'm so tired right now. So I'm just gonna like, you know, chill, relax, I'm watching Big Bang Theory, so. Yeah, I'm gonna relax a little bit and I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get lunch. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, if you guys can hear the little fan, I'm sorry. This fucking bathroom, like, you can't turn on the lights without the fan, just so ghetto, but let's move on. But, um, I literally didn't do anything after the last time I talked to you guys except get food. Um, my head started hurting like, like fucking crazy, so I just took a nap and then I was like lazy. I was supposed to film yesterday also, like to post today, but I couldn't do that because I just was not feeling well. Okay. But yeah, I wasn't feeling well, so I couldn't even like record or whatever. And yeah, so nothing happened. I was literally just in bed. I stayed in bed, watched Big Bang Theory, and then went to bed again after my nap. Oh, so I'm putting the avocado an oatmeal purifying clay mask. My skin feels like fucking sandpaper right now. I don't know what happened. So I'm trying to like, you know, take care of it or whatever. Hopefully this kind of helps. I don't know. But what was I about to say? But yeah, I was supposed to have another tour, another apartment tour today. But the maintenance guy emailed me and told me like, let's do it tomorrow instead. So I'm doing it tomorrow instead of today. So I don't know if I'm gonna film today instead. Cause, okay, I'm a little confused about what video to post. I mean, what video to film. I want to film um, like a book review, like all the books that I've read. Like I told you guys in the last video, like one of my um, New Year resolution was reading at least one or two books every month. And oh, speaking of, I finished the, I finished um, They All Die in the End yesterday. When I was in bed, it was a really good book. I would say it was really overhyped. Like the way TikTok overhyped that shit, I thought I was gonna be shattered. Like I thought I was gonna have trauma after reading it. But it was a good book, but it just didn't meet my expectations. But yeah, I wanted to like um, do a video of all the books, like all the self-help books, leisure books that I've read and review them for you guys. 
but is that something you guys would want to see? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, I was thinking either do a video like that or um, like a chit chat, like advice video, like what I've learned in my 21 years of living. So yeah, which video do you guys want? Comment down below if I recorded one of them and I didn't post the other one yet. Let me know so I'll make the other one. It says leave it until it's like completely dry and then wash it off with warm water. So I'm gonna be back in like 10, 15 minutes. Um, so then let's go take my supplements and yeah. Okay, wash the mask off. Oh, bro, I just like, I was half asleep when I realized my hair was out still. So I just put it like in a tiny bun. So now I'm praying that my hair is not like crunched up. Let's see. Love this. Um, let's just wait for it to go down, I guess. And I cannot wait till like I re dye my hair. Cause look at the roots, like the roots are overgrown. Like I can't even do any other hair um hairstyle. I wanted to do those like big knotless braids, but I don't know. I don't like it when my hair is like black and then just ginger right here. Plus it doesn't go with ginger, do you know what I mean? So I'm waiting till I go back to Nova so I can dye my hair. I'm so excited. Plus my hair is a little unhealthy and it's like a little dry right now. So I'm gonna have to do like, you know, multiple mayo treatments and like protein treatments in general before I go and re dye my hair. But I'm definitely gonna film it when I do. But yeah, oh shit, I didn't even take the pills yet. Guys, so I have this habit of throwing the lid, right? You're, you're gonna find me like so weird after this, right? I have this habit of chewing the lid and then putting it in like this and then chewing this. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I shouldn't show you all this. And then take this out. Take, take this out from the bottle and then, and then rip it and then put it in. This is how I usually drink my water. And if you don't believe me, like every other water bottle that I've had, that I've had in this house, is the same. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, this is good. Hey guys. So it's Thursday, 11:25. Um, I'm going to another tour. I just came back like literally like an hour ago from the gym. I did arms today and I'm so tired. But you know we gotta do this tour. Um uh, so this is the fit. Um I'm literally bumming because there was like a thunderstorm warning yesterday and it's been raining ever since. Um yeah. What else was I about to say? But yeah, um I put my hair up because it was just getting too big and I didn't like it because it wasn't like as defined as I wanted it to be. But yeah, um, it's like 11.25 and I'm meeting the, the guy at 11.30 but it's like right across the street so I don't really have to like go there early. But what, what else was I about to say? But yeah, I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna talk to you guys. since yesterday so 
this is gonna be a whole intent. I just keep forgetting to record and then I just get busy or like I just go out to work or whatever and I always forget. So let me tell you guys what happened yesterday. So yesterday y'all saw me get ready for um, the apartment tour. That apartment, um, it wasn't it wasn't giving. Like okay, let me let me rephrase it. Everything else was giving, but the smallest room, every single apartment that I go check, um, every single apartment that I go um tour, everything is good, but the smallest room is just too small. Like this one, it was like everything was perfect. It was more proportional or like it was more fair with like the other rooms compared to the um the one that I toured the day before. But the smallest room was like shaped like it's a square so the only way you could put your bed is just this way and then there's a closet and that's it like that's literally it like all you could have is your bed your closet and maybe like a tiny like skinny desk but um yeah we saw that it was like the price was like fair but no one like none of us are gonna like live in the smallest room so we're still like looking for the like apartments and stuff so today i went to the gym worked out uh went to trader joe's and then i went um to tour another house and this one was a house instead of an apartment but um this house the setup was literally like exactly like this house like the one that we live in right now but the problem is one it was like carpet and it was just dirty carpet like you can tell like the house was like fucking old like it was just like too old and two the the smallest room the smallest room was really big actually for the um the house that i checked today yeah so the smallest room didn't have ac like the other rooms had ac but it was the ac like by the window you know the little thingies like the one they put in the window that was like what they had for the other rooms which is fucking ghetto but the smallest room didn't even have that like the girl like had to literally like buy her own ac to live there which is stupid but the price was like dirt cheap so and like the landlord was like really nice it was like an old man he was like 80 years old or whatever but he's so nice he came with his wife but um yeah I, we were not gonna live in there one and two the leasing started um july 1st and we can't lease on july 1st because we leave this house july 31st so we need a lease that starts on august 1st instead so yeah um we're still homeless. So y'all saw me go to Trader Joe's and all my stuff or whatever. So I'm gonna make dinner. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just like end this video right here. And I'm gonna update you guys when I find an apartment. And after that, y'all probably just gonna see like move-in vlog. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch y'all in another vlog. But yeah, bye.